In book four, we learned about all the different four note chords, including many seventh chords and sixth chords. Now we are going to look at chords of five or more notes. It all comes down to three additional notes that can be added to a chord. First, let's look at what a chord is made up of. From the bottom up, it is the root note, the third, the fifth, and the seventh. This is what makes up most seventh chords. However, we can now add the nine, eleven, and thirteen to any chord. The ninth of the chord is a whole step above the root, although it is generally placed near the top. The eleventh of the chord is a perfect fourth above the root, although this is also generally near the top. The thirteenth is a major sixth above the root, generally placed near the top of the chord. So let's say we have a C7 chord and we want to make it a C9 chord. We simply add the 9. Or perhaps you see this chord symbol. It is C minor 7 with 11 in parentheses. So you would play a C minor 7 and somewhere you would play the 11. A lot of times when you see an 11th chord, for example, it is very common to add the 9 as well. Any of these new additional notes may be altered. For example, to have a C7 sharp 9, I would simply take the 9th of the chord and make it sharp, or raise it a half step. You may also see something like this. Notice all of the additional notes have been altered. We have a sharp 9, sharp 11, and flat 13. It is pretty rare to see a chord with this many extensions. However, you should still be able to build it. Here is a general rule to follow. You don't always need to play every note of the chord. You can usually just play the third and seventh of the seventh chord and any additional notes that are called for, such as a sharp 9, sharp 11, or a flat 13th. You may also use any inversion of the seventh chord and any inversion of the upper chord, which is a result of the added notes. Always remember to keep the additional notes or extensions near the top. There are exceptions to this rule, and if you happen to play something and you like the sound of it and it breaks the rule, go right ahead. However, it is common to keep these notes near the top of the chord.